My name is Adeyemi Talabi. I do the one, the two, and long jump. I joined the club when I was six, but I feel like I've been running even before then because like primary school, everyone's like running around. So I was all, I was naturally fast. There was a girl maybe like two or three years ahead of me and she said to my mom like, oh yeah, there's a club in like Longford Town if you want to take her. So my mom took me there and since then I've been running with Longford, yeah. With long jump, it's kind of like, there's a rhythm to it. Whereas sprinting is like all out, go for it. Actually, because I only figured it out recently. I figured it out and it's kind of like, okay, yeah, this could work. So it's kind of like, I'll have a song in my head and it's like, okay, I can kind of build up with this. And um, I kind of finally understood why people did the claps, but I still wouldn't because a lot of people clap off beat anyway. So I listen to a lot of music. So it'll be like, okay, if there's a song I'm listening to at the moment, I can kind of like slow it down in my head and then like build it up from there. And I remember in our conference, I didn't do as well as I wanted to just because there were loads of things going on for me. So like at the conference, I was like, okay, I need to redeem myself. So it goes back to the pressure I put on myself that like, oh, I need to redeem myself, da da da, all of this. So I was like, just on my toes, like anxious the entire time. And even my coach came up to me like, are you okay? Cause he started talking about like my Irish accent came out more because I was so stressed. <laughs> I ran the hundred and I finished it like not knowing where I placed. I just knew I did like well enough. And I came to my coach, I didn't even ask him where I placed. I was like, what time did I run? He's like, 11.44. And I was like, oh my God, yes. And then I found out I came first by like 0.01. I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> um, and then the two, I was just like, you know what? This is your last event, go for it. <laughs> just go for it. And um, ended up getting a PB in that as well. Like, okay, yeah. I was like very conflicted because I was like, on the one hand, like my PB's dropped drastically since I started. But on the other hand, I could have got a medal. <laughs> that was the only thing in my mind. Like, I just wanted, I wanted something to bring back to my mom because like, obviously I'm over there by myself. And it's like, that's what was bothering me at in, indoors. Just that like, I miss the support of like having like people I'm familiar with around me. So I was just like, I want something for her. It was so tough for me at first because like I do like kind of struggle with my mental health sometimes. So like being on my own and then like making friends and then getting used to training, there was a lot to do it. But then like I'd say when I went back in January, I was able to kind of like talk to more people and like just figure stuff out like, OK, I know what to expect kind of and especially now like I'm actually excited to start my second year because like I know what's happening now at least I'm not like clueless about stuff if it did get like to what I thought was bad I'd go talk to like the um, counselor that we have so like um, we'd have like free sessions so like a few free sessions for anything else and then my coaches were like oh yeah we can cover it if you need any more so I was like okay that's good and then the journaling thing that was until the start of the year I was like I should probably do that just because like I need an outlet or something at least because I do like I've loved track but when I was over there I felt like I feel extremely burnt out but I was like no I still do enjoy doing this it's just that like I don't know what's really going on I'm just kind of going with whatever happens so I was just like okay let me get a journal at least if I can't talk to anyone because obviously time zones as well I can't really call my friends it's like two in the morning for them so I was like okay at least get it out somewhere my coaches in secondary school so like i met them when i first started so kieran and release and i'd consider them to be family to me at this point because like they've they've helped me out a lot and like i'm still in touch with them now and everything like um they've been like really supportive and i remember like there's sometimes like back in secondary school like i'd be the only one training like i'd be doing winter training by myself because um track was like a summer sport so but I was like, no, I still want to do things. That's why it was like enjoyable for me. Like, oh, yeah, I feel like the stress I had over there was like good to like, you know, character development and like it got me going. But like I was I remember saying to my coaches back at home, like I'm excited to come back home because I feel like this is I know this. This is comfortable for me. So it will be fun at least not saying it wasn't fun over there, but I just felt like maybe I put too much pressure on myself, which is something I'm going to kind of work on for my next year. So World Championships are being held in Oregon in the USA this year. Um, the four by one is a relay. So each leg runs 100 meters. I'm, but when we went to Diamond League, because we're trying to qualify for European Championships, I got to run last leg and I felt great. It was the first time I did it in like a few years because of COVID and stuff. I was like, I love this so much. <laughs> we train on the day for Diamond League to just to see like marks and stuff. I mean, it worked, it worked. So 
so it was it was great um and i feel like we're probably gonna end up doing the same thing again because like we leave on tuesday so the 12th um and then we run on the 22nd this is my first year as like under 23 senior so it's like oh i'm new to this and like even after um diamond league like i got closer with like the girls that i ran with so like lauren roy kate doherty and sarah Levy. i was like oh yeah this is these are great <laughs> what's this so um no and i've realized now that i am coming out of my shell a bit more anyway so like Thank you.